What's the story, Wishbone? What's this you're dreaming of? Such big imagination on such a little bug. What's the story, Wishbone? Do you think it's worth a look? It kind of seems familiar, like a story from a book. Shake a leg now, Wishbone. Let's wag another tail. Sniffing out adventure with Wishbone on the trail. Come on, Wishbone. What's the story, Wishbone? What's the story, Wishbone? What's the story, Wishbone? Yes! The jump shot's working today, buddy! Beautiful! Now let me show you a layout, Joe. Hey, look, it's Grady Ray. Grady who? Grady the Stingray. He's the only freshman who's ever been a starter for varsity. He's got a deadly jump shot. It's like laser guided. Hey, should I show him my jump shot? Bet you can't do that again. Watch. Not bad, kid. Hey, come here. Yeah, I taught him that. You want to come to the park and shoot some hoops with us? We can play two on two. Sure. Just you. Just him? What about the coach? Are you sure it's OK? I told you twice I'm sure. Three times the charm? OK. Bye. What about me? What about Wishbone? Uh. He better stay. They might step on him. We never step on him. Yeah. But, uh, they might not like it. Oh, they'll like me? I'm easy to love. Wishbone, stay. Stay? Wishbone, I said stay. On our day? You're saying goodbye on a Saturday. Stay on a Saturday? You have bigger and better things to do? The Red Badge of Courage is the story of another kid in a hurry, Henry Fleming. The novel, written by Stephen Crane in 1895, is set during the American Civil War. Fire! 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 Henry Fleming thinks he'll be Mr. Big Stuff, covered in glory, if he leaves his quiet life on the farm and joins the army. But his mother knew war was no game, and she didn't want a dead hero for a son. So, this is goodbye, Henry. Now, don't go acting like you'll beat the whole army of rebels single-handed. And if you want to be a man, don't think bragging, spitting, and cussing will make you one. But, Mama, I am a man. I just know I can do something big. Just come back home, and then maybe one day you'll grow up, and maybe then you'll be a man. Promise me you'll be careful. Ma, I already promised. Promise again. Okay, okay, I promise. Now, Mama, I've got to go. Goodbye. I love you. Robin? Yeah? Why aren't you going with Joe and... That's Grady Ray, isn't it? Ellen, I want to report a kidnapping. You mean the sting? <laughs> well, why aren't you going with them? They didn't ask. I give up. What are you doing? Well, you smell like Joe. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're Joe. You haven't washed this. But you're certainly not acting like Joe. Well, it's almost a shock. 
It's kind of you, Joe, truly kind, but I've got enough socks already. This really isn't necessary. Joe, it's David. He's calling about your biology project. I'm busy! Should I tell him to call back later? Hey, Joe, it's Sam. I'm still busy! Okay. So, exactly why don't we like sleeves anymore? Do you know someone named JT? It must be Grady. I'm JT. I knew it! He thinks he's someone named JT! Ellen! He's got amnesia! JT, huh? What happened to Joe? Yes! 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 You are looking at the new fourth member of Grady's crew. I'm Grady's new basketball partner. Yes. They're in high school, and they want to be friends with me. I don't know, Joe. It may not be as great as you think. After joining the army, all Henry did was wait. The men were nervous and excited. Their pent-up energy was about to explode. Come on, Wilson! My dollar says you'll win! Knock him down! Let's see blood! There's gonna be a battle tomorrow. It's a battle. We're marching out in the morning. Hi, Jim. There's gonna be a battle tomorrow. A battle? But, Jim... Hey, guys, there's gonna be a battle tomorrow. Hey, a battle tomorrow. There's going to be a battle tomorrow. I heard it myself. We're marching out in the morning. No, 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 it's, it's true. We're gonna be fighting tomorrow, boys. There's no more waiting. <laughs> Hey, Henry, what do you think about that news, huh? A babble. Yeah, it's about time, I guess. Yeah, let me tell you, I want to show them Johnny Reb something they'll never forget. I'm going to pound them. I'm going to knock their dirty rebel lights out. Aren't you? Well, yeah. But, Wilson, aren't you a little bit nervous? Nervous? <laughs> There's no way I'm nervous. No way. What are you anyway, Yella? What's eating you, Henry? Jim, have you ever wondered what a fight will be like? Did you ever ask yourself, what if I can't stand it? What if I just turn around and run? Henry, everyone wonders. And even Wilson. I was just thinking the same thing myself. Am I gonna live another day? Henry, nobody knows. You're not alone. <sighs> Another Saturday alone. This is starting to look like a pattern. Sorry, Wishbone. Looks like Joe's gone again this Saturday. But you can keep me company. Ah, you're sweet, Ellen. Hello? Sam. No, I'm sorry. Oh, I thought he was practicing over at Robin's. Oh, hold on a second, Sam. I have another call. If it's Joe, tell him I'm still available. Uh, hello? David. No, I'm sorry, I haven't. Uh, David, I need to call you back. Sam, I need to call you right back. Joe! Wouldn't ring the doorbell. Where's, Where's Joe? Joe? That's today's big question. Sam and David are looking for him, too. It must be Grady Ray. <laughs> Joe, I had to apologize to three people for you today. Four, counting me. Do you really think it's a good idea to spend the entire evening with Grady, too? Mom, they want me to hang with them. They go out for pizza every Saturday. Joe, who your friends are is your own choice. But I just want you to be careful, okay? Older kids can sometimes be intimidating. Mom, I'm not afraid of them. They're my friends. I know it sounds selfish, but I just have to say it. What about me? 
All right, just be careful. All right. I'm there. I'm one of the crew. Finally, the soldiers were moving toward their first battle. Their breakfast sat like stones in their stomachs. But in just a few minutes of marching, those stones had turned into butterflies. The soldiers dug trenches to protect themselves, but many wondered if they were digging their own graves. Wasn't so bad. But it was over. We won. I'm not here. I'm not here. It's a bad dream. A nightmare. I'll just wake up and it'll disappear. What am I doing? This isn't how it was supposed to be. I don't belong here. I'm just a kid. I don't want to be a soldier. I don't want to be a hero. I want to live. <sighs> That's better. See? That squirrel isn't a coward because he's up in that tree. He's got a survival instinct. I'm not a coward. Am I? <laughs> Smart dog. Can't wait to see the rest of his amazing tricks. Let's go. I do not like these guys, Joe. I'd better go along. They don't allow dogs. You'd better tell him to scat. Go on, scat. Scat? As long as we've known each other, you've never told me to scat. Joe. I'm hurt. Grady, you had the cola, you had the lemon lime, and you had the orange. You forgot straws. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hey, Joe. Hey. Those two little kids. Oh, they're just two kids from school. I recorded some great songs near my house. 
Great, let's see if any of the birds sound the same. You know, for biology homework, this is pretty fun. What's that sound? You hear it? it? Sounds so familiar. What is it? What is it? That's it. I've got it. It's a geek mating call. <laughs> <laughs> geek mating call. You get it? <laughs> geek mating call. Talk about going back on your friends. Yeah, I know. I can't believe he'd hang out with them. Tell totally humiliate us. Joe! Joe! Hey, guys. Joe! Didn't even say goodbye. Joe! Or should I say JT? Something is terribly wrong. So, this is what you do with Grady and his crew. How do you stand the excitement? Hey, is anybody tired? I, I could sub for someone. No, but uh, we're gonna be thirsty pretty soon. Could you fill up our water bottles again? Oh yeah, sure. Joe, top dogs don't grovel. Oh, and make sure you let the water get cold. Hmm. Sam and David never treated you like this. Hey, look, there's Wishbone and Joe. Yeah, and there's Grady Ray and Joe's new friends. JT, you didn't have to run. We're not that thirsty. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, here. What the I've got to go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, wait up! I don't think we're going to catch him, Joe, but at least we're headed in the right direction. Henry's conscience caught up with him, and now he was running in the other direction, back to the front line. i got to find Jim and Wilson. I hope they're okay. Caught on the big retreat, huh? Come on, I'll take you back. So, bullet grazed you, huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly how it happened. First battle, and you've already got the red badge of courage, eh? A lot of guys couldn't stand it. Upped and ran. Poor Jim didn't have your luck. Jim? Is he dead? Best one of us all is dead, Henry. Listen, every lick of fighting we do tomorrow, Let's do it for Jim, okay? Is it a deal? For Jim. Sure makes you think, don't it? I saw a lot to make me think today. Thanks, Wilson. You're different somehow from who you were yesterday. Did you know that? You're a good man. No idea this symbol beast had no such a complicated inner life, such strong affections. Oh, this book has opened my eyes. Well, what can I say? Still waters run deep. You know, 
people are always talking about training dogs, and sometimes I think they train us. You know, they're the ones who really teach us what it means to be loyal and what it means to be a friend. My middle name is Faithful. And most of them would rather die than betray their friends, their pack. Yeah, Wishbone could teach us all a thing or two. Oh, first day, digging lessons will start at 8 a.m. sharp, followed by scent tracking at 9.30. Okay, Mom, you made your point. You don't have to keep lecturing me about it. I really messed up, Mom. You should have seen Sam and David's faces. I know. I think Robin was a little sad, too. I wish I had never met Grady. You can't turn back the clock, Joe. You know what you have to do. I know. But what if they don't forgive me? You'll never know until you ask. OK. I will. I'll be right behind you, buddy. When are you going to do that? I don't know. I never thought I'd be afraid to see Sam and David, but I am. Trust me. Don't let too much time go by. You've got to face up to it, Joe. But you'd better take the cute little dog, just for insurance. The next day, Henry didn't know if he could face his fears. Henry. Henry, come out. Live or die, we're a team. Remember, it's all for Jim. For Jim. That's the way, Private. <laughs> You're a fierce one. If only every man would fight like you. I hope you're brave enough to do what's next. If we can pry that line from their grip, we'll chase them all the way to Virginia. Can you do it? You'll lead the charge then, Private. Yes, sir. Come on, boys. Follow me. I won't leave your side, Henry. At least not till I die. Take back to the general, Henry. You led us here. And we're still alive. And Mama, it's been a big feat just to stay alive. But you knew that already. I did, Henry. I've decided this one will be my last war. Even one's too many. I think of you always, Mama. And I pray I'll see you again someday. Your loving son. Henry. So we're back on for Saturday, right? <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot. See you, Wishbone. Bye, Robin. Joe, this is brilliant. A pizza really says it all. I love you. You're my friend. Feed the dog. Joe, wouldn't half a pizza say pretty much the same thing? Buddy? Pal? Slow. Yeah. And that's that's the mockingbird. Okay. Come in. Pizza delivery. Wow, your mother has got ESP. I know. <laughs> How did you know we were craving pizza? Oh, I didn't. But somebody did. Dear David and Sam, forgive me? I've been feeling really low since Saturday. Me too. I let you down. If you forgive me, I promise I'll never do it again. Open your door and tell me now. Doe. Get in here. 
or before the pizza gets cold. I'm sorry, guys. It's all right. Okay. So, have fun with Grady. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> do you want to do something with me and Robin on Saturday? Sure, sure, that'd be fun. Ah, sharing pizza is the international ritual of friendship. It's food, it's fun, and everybody gets a slice. Wishbone! Across the smoke-infested fields they came on, swinging their rifles at all angles. A flag tilted forward, sped near the front. To safely recreate the Civil War, as described by Stephen Crane, we needed top-notch special effects and specially trained actors. Most of the soldiers you see in this show are reenactors, people interested in accurately recreating the events of the Civil War. Reenactors are basically hobbyists. They're people who have, have gotten involved in a, a hobby called historical preservation. What's special about a reenactor is that they come totally prepared and totally equipped with their equipment, with their uniforms, the look, their haircuts, their facial hair is all very authentic. So it's their hand-to-hand -hand combat. It looks real, but it's actually a well-choreographed dance. To create the excitement of the battle scenes, we also needed help from special effects. The Red Badge of Courage was a particularly intense effects episode because we were recreating Civil War battles. Uh, we had people being shot, uh, explosions going off nearby, cannon fire, and uh, muskets being fired. What about these campfires? Hey guys, there's gonna be a battle. We had fake logs, and uh, we could turn the fires on and off as necessary for certain camera views. And the explosions? They were carefully prepared to shoot up only soft materials, like bark and mulch. Here we go. And they were set off only when everything and everyone were protected. Ah! And the bullet holes? Ah! Yes! It looks like he's been shot! Ooh. Actually, a special device is attached to the actor. And when it is discharged by our trained staff, it blows a hole through the actor's clothes from the inside. Action, Gary! Wow! That looks real! To safely and accurately portray the Civil War, we had to recreate some pretty complicated battle scenes. But with the help of experienced professionals, we made sure every person and every dog were safe. for this program provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by annual financial support from viewers like you. Listen.